what's up guys and welcome back to my channel so every year me and my cousins love to dress up for halloween and go out and this year my daughter was a mermaid so it gave me inspiration to try to diy my own halloween costume so that's what i'm going to be showing you guys on today's video so i went over to walmart and i picked up a lot of things so that I could try to DIY this costume and I found some really cute stuff that might work out so this is why I haven't posted for a few days here on my channel and that is because I was so wrapped up in making this costume I even got some face jewels to go with and a hot glue gun and just pretty much everything that I needed to try to craft this so before I show you guys how it turned out, I wanted to show you guys what my daughter looked like for school this morning. So they wear uniforms every day, but today was a dress down day. So of course, you know, we went all out and this is how I did her hair. I ended up crafting this little spider clip this morning with my glue gun and it turned out so cute. It looks like there's a little spider just sitting on top of her bun. And then I got these socks from the Dollar Tree. Her outfit is from Walmart. So once I dropped her off to school, I wanted to now show you guys what my costume ended up looking like. I did not record myself DIYing this. Because honestly, I didn't think it'd turn out this good. I even went to Walmart and got these little sea stars and I blinged them out for accessories. I end up making two of them. And then I also got this little strand of lights and they look like little pearls. So I thought they'd go perfect with the costume. I'm going to incorporate them somehow. And then I also got some glitter spray for my hair and body and then just some more face jewels. And then I also had to DIY me a pair of sandals to go with the outfit. And I was about to toss these sandals in the trash anyways. So I thought before I throw them away, let me try to turn them into something so I can use them one last time. And this is how these turned out looking. I think they're pretty cute and then of course to wrap around my waist I just got this mesh and I'm just gonna use it as a little skirt and I thought whenever I tied a knot in it I'd put this star where the knot is to kind of hide it and then I'm just gonna put the lights underneath the skirt and I'm just so happy with how everything turned out and I cannot wait to get all dressed up in it and wear it out. But first, I need to figure out how I'm gonna do my makeup. Okay guys, so I just put my top on. Let me show you guys. And guys, this top is so heavy because of everything on it. And then the beads are so cold. But I wanted to put the top on because I feel like it'll give me inspiration for like my face makeup. I'm gonna go ahead and take these two clips and I'm just going to pin my hair up out of my face so that I can start doing my makeup. And guys, I got these clips at the Dollar Tree for $1. And they feel like so expensive. And I know you guys are going to point this out. I have a strand of pearls going down this strap. And then this strap, I had a strand of pearls as well, but they fell off. So I'm going to have to fix this side, but that can wait. I do not go out until tomorrow. So I'll probably just fix this side after doing this video. Uh, I'm going to quit jabbering and let's get busy with the makeup. Okay guys, so I thought I'd mention before I got busy that I completely forgot to find some blue eyeshadow to go with this look. You guys know that I don't really play with much eyeshadow and when I do, all of the eyeshadows are pretty much nude colors. So I ended up going through my daughter's makeup and I did find some 
pretty blues that I may be able to use but it is kid makeup so we're just gonna have to work with it and see how it turns out so for now I'm just doing my normal makeup routine of course foundation concealer and now I'm putting on some setting powder and then I'm just gonna let that bake on my face for a little bit while I do my eyebrows and if you guys see me talking throughout this video any, it's because I'm talking to my husband who's in the bathroom and he was taking a shower. So yeah, I'm just going to go in with the eyeshadow palette that I found in my daughter's room. I don't think this eyeshadow is very pigmented, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. And this wasn't really the color of blue that I was trying to go for. I was trying to go for more of a greeny blue or a turquoise blue. So I just started off with this color blue and then my daughter brought me an eyeshadow palette that had the perfect shades of blue that I needed. So I'm just putting on a lot of highlighter, a lot of glitter, and then I put just a little bit of purple underneath the eye. And so this is after using the eyeshadow palette that my daughter brought me. I really like the way my eyes turned out. And then of course I put my jewels on my forehead. I absolutely love those. And now I'm just using that same eyeshadow and I'm trying to use it as lipstick with some lip gloss. That is why it looks so shiny. And then I'm going to go in with the same little eyeshadow palette and I'm just putting it all above the jewels and on my face so that it looks like I have shiny blue mermaid skin. I do plan on actually using some pantyhose that are netted and I'll pull them over my head and I'll just apply the eyeshadow to my face so that way when I take the pantyhose off it looks like scales. I thought that'd be really cute. And then I've just got some liquid shimmer eyeshadow that I'm putting underneath my eyes so that my skin looks wet and glittery. And then of course, no look is complete without eyeliner. I just feel like my eyes look naked without it. And the actual day that I go out, I'm going to use fake eyelashes but for now I'm just going in with my mascara and then the last step I'm gonna do is add some more jewels to my face so now that all the jewels are in place I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the two clips and for this video, my hair is just going to be straight, but the day I go to the little party that we're going to and I wear this costume, I'm actually going to use my crimper and I'm going to crimp my hair really big so that it looks like I have mermaid waves. And yeah, guys, this is the finished look. So now let me show you guys everything together. So I'm just putting the little skirt around my waist. And I'm gonna tie this little knot and of course I want my beads over the top of the skirt and then to hide this I'm gonna have to hot glue a clip onto the back of this star and then I'll just stick it right here but for now we'll just tuck it in so that you guys get the idea of what I'm going for and now I'm going to take these lights and I'm going to try to hide them underneath the skirt. And I really love the way it turned out and it just gave that extra pop to the costume. I cannot believe I made this myself, guys. And then I'm gonna put my little shoes on to go with because I do plan on taking some pictures and doing some TikToks. Okay guys, so this is going to be the finished look. As you guys can see, I've got my face completely blinged out. 
and I just absolutely love the way everything turned out. I love how the outfit sparkles whenever the light hits it. I'm just completely obsessed. And I also plan on taking the other star that I made and I'm going to put a clip on it so that I can clip it into my hair. And I think it'll look so good with the really big crimps in my hair. So that's going to be all for today's video. I want to thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.